Yes, Well, tonight the fighting in the Middle East has taken an ominous turn. Israeli ground forces have now entered Gaza. That's a major escalation. Can you just paint us a picture of how dire the situation is right now? This is what we know so far. There are currently no IDF ground troops inside the Gaza Strip. The IDF air and ground forces are carrying out strikes on targets in the Gaza Strip. So, despite reports, we can tell you this morning that there is no ground offensive from Israel into Gaza so far. It's just gone at 2 a.m. in Jerusalem. say they have begun a ground assault into the Palestinian enclave. Despite reports, we can tell you this morning that there is no ground offensive from Israel into Gaza so far. It's just gone at 2 a.m. in Jerusalem. We'll get as much up-to-date information as we can for you. and then we start all over in a little bit. Uh, it has been quieter, but we haven't had an all-out ground war since 2014, but there's been several major escalations since then. I've been appalled by the media reporting, but honestly, Melanie, as you well know, this is not new. This happens every time there's a conflict involving Israel. I can't quite understand it. I don't know whether it's victim politics, whether it's, uh, a, you know, exaggerated anti-racism turned into anti-Jewish uh, feeling. I don't know what it is. We haven't heard much from the Middle East, have we, recently? Hasn't it been fairly peaceful? No. No? It's just that we have not covered it very had, much. Right. No, we've had other worries to think about, but it, it still remains very volatile. This is already the heaviest fighting between Israel and Palestinians in years. Israeli airstrikes pounding the Gaza Strip since dawn. Two million residents fenced in with nowhere to hide. We were really heading towards a catastrophe. Sirens fill the night sky over Tel Aviv. From their rooftops, terrified residents watch the missiles descend on their city. The worst violence in seven years between Israel and Hamas militants is intensifying tonight. The United Nations Middle East envoy warning hostilities are moving towards a full-scale war. If they want to escalate, the resistance is ready. If they want to stop, the resistance is ready. If they want to move their hand out of Jerusalem, the resistance is ready. This is the message that we delivered to all the sides and to whoever is involved. But miles to the north, this renewed conflict and the history behind it has spawned something else. 
This is Batiam near Tel Aviv. Israeli Jews attacking Arabs. In cities across the country, there are riots between the two sides. In Lod, between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, the Arab community were protecting the mosque into the evening. And late tonight, the violence spilling into the Israeli streets. A Jewish mob attacking an Arab driver. Brutal scenes tonight, and we are seeing those violent mobs on both sides in multiple Israeli cities. And that's what makes this round of violence different and even more alarming. Palestinian Israelis and Jewish Israelis living in close proximity, turning on each other. <laughs> I'm closer to Tel Aviv. Palestinian businesses will ransacked. The wave of violence has hit dozens of cities and regions across Israel. It's the worst between communities living alongside each other in decades. Israeli officials say they are more violent than the protests that led to the Al-Aqsa Intifada in 2000. More than 60 Palestinians have been killed, including 16 children. This is a crime, this man says. They were civilians. It's the worst violence in seven years. Hamas has launched over 1,600 rockets towards Israel the past few days. Uh, or more than 1,000 rockets uh, overnight uh, last night, uh, which is quite unprecedented and extraordinary. The air raid sirens sounded through the day. In the skies, the trails of Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. It shot down most of the Hamas rockets. The Israeli communities here are used to attacks from Gaza, but not this many in just a few hours. Uh, Miss Omar, in one of her statements about this very event, she said, Israel airstrikes killing civilians in Gaza is an act of terrorism. Palestinians deserve protection. Unlike Israel, missile defense programs such as Iron Dome don't exist to protect Palestinian civilians. It's unconscionable to not condemn these attacks. Listen and look at those pictures. You're looking at Israeli missiles exploding in Gaza overnight. And people on both sides of the conflict, I have to say this, are very passionate in the support for their group. Very passionate. But I actually want to look past that, as that's what a lot of people right now are doing uh, today. They're trying to obviously back up the side that they belong on. The deadly fighting follows weeks of near-nightly protests over forced evictions in East Jerusalem. Do you accept what UN organizations, what human rights organizations are saying? You are an occupying power that is violating international law. I can see that you've uh, gathered and put together all the quotes. The point is, is you and people have to understand and realize you're not talking and interviewing me in uh, 1967. We're talking about 2021. Sir, I Israel, quoted to you quotes from Israel in May the 7th, 2021, and I have done my research, and I make no apology for it. The, these need to be addressed. Okay, I understand that. Are, are you saying to viewers, the UN, UNESCO, uh, Amnesty International, I've got a quote here if you want to hear it, where they, where they say settling civilians in occupied territories violates international humanitarian law and amounts to a war crime. Are you telling viewers the UN, the International Court of Justice, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch are all wrong and only you are right? I'm saying... No, what I'm saying is, is that Jerusalem is not... So hang on, so you said no. If they're not wrong... Then you admit that you are an occupying power that is violating international law by your intervention. The target, says the Israeli military, are Hamas and Islamic Jihad leaders and their insurgents.